Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Jacob Restituto. I am a musician from Northport, New York, and welcome back to another Pentatonix reaction to their now new, newest, I guess is the best way to say it, newest original album, The Lucky Ones. I am very much looking forward to hearing this. I've already done three of them. I've done Happy Now, uh, Be My Eyes, and The Lucky Ones as they were released as singles, but I'm gonna do them. I'm just gonna go straight through the the full, the kind of the full, the full album, just kind of get the full experience. So if you're watching this now on this sing single video, you'll, you'll see that I have posted all the videos individually so if you want to see a specific one you can just go and find that that specific one otherwise if you want to watch the whole thing straight through you can actually I'm live streaming my like behind the scenes filming of this video right now actually so you can watch the whole album reaction straight through if you want if you prefer doing it that way otherwise you could just see the single videos in this version right now so we're starting off right from the beginning with happy now if you want to check out my music Jacob Restituto wherever you listen I'd appreciate it if you haven't subscribed yet please consider so if you have thank you so much that being said, this is Happy Now, straight from the beginning. Is it illegal to without you? Am I First of all, I mean, I commented this in the original one. I like that reverse vocal. Let's talk about that really quick, how you do that. The way you take, get a reverse vocal, you find a good syllabus. Syllabus meaning like A, or I guess syllabus, I don't know if syllabus, syllabus isn't the right, Cons consonants? Whatever the case is, you find a good vowel, like A, E, whatever that case, the case is, A, E, O, you know, trying to find the best one. From that, you end up going and saying, okay, let's take that, splice it off, cut it. It has these little clips at the end, so when you do that, you actually like um, end up, uh, what's it called, fading them in and out, and then uh, so that they don't have a little clip, and then you reverse it, add a ton of, or add a ton of reverb, then reverse it, because you want the reverb tail, which is, creates that reverse swell. And that gives that really nice transition to the vocals. Clean claps, man. Nice. Is it okay if I drop some other pressure? Have an adventure. Give me the keys. I think I wanna be. Happy. Right, let's talk about this really quick. And by the way, if you're new here. I do pause a lot, so stay tuned because if you if you don't like that kind of pausing, the way that I pause, this probably isn't the video for you or the series probably isn't for you, which is totally fine. Not everything's for everybody. I won't be offended if you don't want to watch, but I do pause a lot, so be prepared for that. That being said, I really like the staccato bum bum bum. It's like a single. It's actually like somebody's playing the bass. Obviously, we know it's not, but it's bum. Obviously, we know it's not. I mean, bum 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 bum. It's very very cool bass playing. Or bass sing, I guess. What how you say? It. I also like the fullness of the vocals. Like you could really hear. Like obviously Scott's vocals are right in the center, but I really like how everybody's kind of left, right, kind of giving this whole full sound to it. I really, I think it's really well mixed. Nice. That reminds me of very much Barbara Shop Quartet. Do 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 do. Kind of create like layering those harmonies, almost um almost canon like. Gonna be happy now. Is it illegal to move on nice. Come on. Let's talk about that really quick. That's really cool, man. I really like the way that they did that. I like the the, the whole um the layering the vocals and stuff. I really like the now bun and two and one and two and one and two and kind of rhythm giving that almost almost like this Latin kind of feel to it. I'm not saying it sounds Latin music, but that's a very very common Latin um uh, island style one and two and one and two and it's really become popular in this in this in pop music in the past probably five years. Otherwise, it, it was really just, it was really popular. I grew up in a half Spanish household. My mom's from El Salvador. My dad's family, a couple generations ago, came from Italy. But my mom is actually from El Salvador, born there. So, uh, you know, I have a, a lot of Spanish family and a lot of Spar uh, Latin heritage from El Salvador. So I went to these, like, banging Spanish parties, you know, as a kid. And that, that rhythm, the one and two and one and two and one, is throughout Latin music. So... Uh, I grew up listening to that that music f for sure, and or that that rhythm for sure, and I like that it's kind of making its way towards pop. Happy 
Dude, this sounds so good, man. Oh, that's cool. I like that. So first of all, actually, that's a great question. Am I happy now with or without you? I like the idea of trying to like, you know, figure, asking yourself that, are you happy now? Or are you not happy now? It's kind of sometimes good to like, just, you know, figure that out. But bass drop is so good. Nice vocal, like the background. Nice, I like that one done. Is that is that syncopation right there? Let me see. Let's try that. There's some serious syncopation feel going, like kind of emphasizing the upbeat, on, 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 kind of giving the upbeat kind of feel. Syncopation was when you uh, when you um, uh, emphasize on the the the, the if you're two, talking eighth notes on the upbeat of the eighth note, so one and two. This is not syncopation. One and two and three and four and syncopation is one and two and three and four and like that. So good, man. I like this four on the floor kick. Whoa, hold, listen to that. Listen to Kevin doing like a swell kind of. I can't even do it. <laughs> this is great, man. Dude, Scott's vibrato is wild. The pitch toms, too. Listen to Kevin's pitch toms. That's crazy. Bass drop, man. I like that. Like, I want to say it's probably Mitch's vocals. That whoa, 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 in the background. They've come so far in production. It's crazy. Oh, cool. So listen to this. Wow. Okay. So we're going to rewind it really quick. Like I said, I like the pause. So if you're not into that, this probably isn't <laughs> for you. Listen to listen to the claps right here. And I'm going to bring it back. Listen to the claps. For the that okay. Now listen to this. Listen to this class. Same exact rhythm as the beginning, but listen to the difference. Is it illegal to move without you? Am I you hear that? Now we'll go back to where we are. Oh, uh, no, here. Sorry, right here. Can you hear that? So what we have right there, that's that's a great example of a filter. So what he, they did is the same exact rhythm on the claps. They actually probably just copied and pasted the claps so that you had, um, so you have the same kind of feel like this. It's a, probably the same exact rhythm, same exact copy and paste. That's probably what I would do. It's much easier to record that way, especially with modern recording. That being said, uh, they probably copied and pasted, but put a low pass filter, not essentially a full low pass filter, but they're rolling off a lot of the high end, giving the, the uh, kind of a warmer uh, sound where the, the higher frequencies are taken off. Uh, that being said, it's it's cool, like it's the same rhythm, but a different feel to that rhythm now. That's cool, man. Nice echo on Mitch's vocals right here. Dude, listen to that side chaining on the vocal. That has to be some sort of side chain. I don't think that that's not you could do that with your actual vocals. Like it's creating this like like what side chain is. And if you're interested in like really going in depth in this stuff, definitely consider checking out the Patreon where I actually really start breaking down like going inside of my DAW, my DAW digital audio workstation, and showing these actual plugins and stuff. But uh, side chains where like you, it's a very very popular way to get music um like like pulsing you create this pulsing effect in in, in the sounds and so what you're doing is essentially linking two sounds together so here they're linking the uh the, the kick drum sound to uh the, the vocals and creating this pulsing 
uh, uh, uh. that's a ridiculous dramatic way but like it creates this really cool pulsing i don't know if it's actually possible to do that with just your straight vocals by yourself um they they're talented they might very well be able to do that but let's see In the past, grateful for the lessons that i you hear that pulsing? Pulse? Four note pulsing? Dude, that bass is so good. rhythm in here is so good like i said the one and two and so that rhythm is so hard not to dance to one and two and one and two and one great song back with the bright version of these vocals or the claps i mean Nice echo at the end. Very cool. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Stay tuned for the other 10 tracks in this album. I'm definitely looking forward to hearing them. I hope you guys are looking forward to me looking forward to hearing that. <laughs> no, I hope you guys are enjoying the, the content. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys in the next video. Stay tuned. I'm going to keep posting them. I'm going to go through all of them. So if you want to check them out or you can pick your favorites or if you want to see, like I said, straight through, you can watch it on the live stream where I'm recording myself recording. This. It's like a filming inception. But hope you guys are enjoying it. I'll see you in the next video. God bless. Peace out. Here we go again Can't tell you that I'm surprised By the tears in your eyes Don't get it wrong I can sympathize I mean we've been down this road